I'm going to show you how to use the 100 rated Maradona. But before that, I'd like to tell you guys that this is one of the most important videos for me because this is the first video that I've made since reaching 1000 subscribers. And without all of you guys, I wouldn't have reached there. So I'd like to thank each and every one of you guys for always liking, commenting, and watching the videos. Thanks, and let's try to aim higher. We're going to 10k now. So let's go. Also, for every video from now on, I'll try to do two shout outs. They're gonna be first coming shout outs and a random shout out. The first coming shout out goes out to Arya Sarkar, and the random comment goes out to Demar McLeish. So don't forget to just leave comments down below. If you're not first, don't worry about it. You can always still drop your comments and hopefully it becomes as the random comment. Let's see how it goes. If you're new here, I'm Shark Gaming and I do PES mobile videos. So subscribe if you want to see player reviews, manager reviews, gameplays and some live streams. Now without further ado, let's do the review. <laughs> Actually one of the most controversial players in the entire PES mobile game because when you look at him he has 100 he's 100 rated and this is just his legend card his iconic woman card in my opinion is worst I do not like his iconic woman card it doesn't play as good as his regular legend card his regular legend card is amazing it's 100 rated in second striker and attacking me forward while being 98 rated in center forward. And as we look here at the details, he's 164 centimeters, you know, in height, so he's very short. So you don't expect him to have that good of like heading, right? Yeah, that's what I thought as well, but his heading is 86. So he can head the ball. His jump is about 75 though, so it's not really that, you know, but he can still head the ball. Uh, as you can see here, his stats most of them are really, they're really really blue 97 99 99 99 so he's really good at dribbling really good at offensive awareness he's finishing his 99 as well so he can finish really really well i have a few problems with the card of course because you know no card is perfect and to me he's just a second striker version of messi in a sense just that messi has more shot options and we'll get into that later so his heading is 86 actually not 85 Lofted pass 91, his low pass is 95. Curl 97. So you see with this now, his weak foot, his weak foot accuracy is three out of four. So his weak foot is very accurate. So you can take curlers from the right side or the left side. That's the most effective way to use him. You can use curlers or you can use long range shots because he has long range drive, long range shooting and outside curlers as well as passing. So what I do is that you can play him as a second striker in a false nine position, like a 4-3-3 formation. And with that, he'll play as the lone striker up top. What he does is that he reverts back and he helps with the distribution out to the wingers. So he's very effective there. And his through passing is very accurate. His weighted passes are very good. So you can use him for that. If you use him in the attacking mid forward position, he's very good right there as he's a very good playmaker. You know, he does have the traits. He, he has mostly blue stats. So, you know, he can do almost every single thing. So he can do that and he can do a lot of running. The problems that I really face with him, just a few of them basically, is that his physical contact really isn't all that good, it's 81. His speed is 85, so he isn't really all that fast, but his acceleration, the longer time that he has on the ball, he'll move faster. So his acceleration is 95, it's not that bad. His kicking power could be more because it's 85, you know, compared to Scholes and Adriano who are at 99, so he can actually crack some long shots from outside the box properly, and you know that it's either going to score or the keeper is going to like, the keeper can't catch it, yeah so that's not what i get from this but the main problem that i have with maradona the main problem is that his stamina is too darn low when i say low i mean mid game he's very very tired so what i've done now is that i've basically concluded that if i am going to use maradona in my counter attacking formation i have to have a good substitute for him so what i do is that i have del Piero on the bench the iconic moment version of del Piero. if you guys want to see a review for that it's already there so i'll just put that link down in the description where you can check out my player review playlist but yeah i use delphir as a good replacement because he's very very good not as good stats wise as uh, maradona but at the end of the day he's still good or sufficient enough but trust me maradona is like he's tired from half time and once he's tired he doesn't play good he doesn't run he cannot take shots nothing at all so you have to sub him off so that's one of my biggest problems with him especially when you're playing him in the attacking mid forward position i do not play him in the center forward position because he's not a striker to me 
you get what I'm trying to say? I really prefer like gold vouchers rather than a classic number 10. And a classic number 10 is basically a player who uses death touches and not necessarily power. So that's why his kicking power isn't all that good. He has, you know, he's just like, uh, like Zico, but he's better. So in the video that I made with Zico and I titled it, is he better than Maradona? No, he's not better than Maradona. He does have like a few different or better traits, but Maradon is better overall. So Maradon is better in that aspect. But yeah, his stamina is really, really low. So what you guys should be probably playing in a position-based formation, and then he will last longer. But still, he still cannot run the entire 90, especially if it's a fast-paced game. He cannot run the full 90. It's 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 it's, it's very disheartening. Another problem that I have with him is that his weak foot usage is only 2 out of 4. So what happens is that 50% of the times when you're over um, the right side about to take a curler with this right foot, the problem is that sometimes it will turn out to be an outside curler because majority of the time he doesn't want to use his right foot to curl it. So you'll get an outside curler. Don't get me wrong, it will probably still score, but it wasn't what you had intended or the type of shot that you had intended in the first place if you get what I'm trying to say. So yeah, that's a problem for me as well. I've realized that you know there are not really that many problems with him because he's a very good card overall i really like using his card he's really really good overall uh, as you can see here he has like some skills double touch martial turn you know he has uh he has the mid-range curler arm trait so that's why i say he's very very good at you know doing curlers his acrobatic finishing is really good he's a low lofted pass you know he has that and he has gamesmanship gamesmanship is basically being able to draw a penalty in the box by doing the bare minimum so once you're in the box with him just do a skill and bam maradona is there and he's gonna score so that's what you guys just have to do right there i'm playing in different formations i play him in a lot of different formations it all depends this is just one of the formations that i play him in this is like the pep guardiola formation i also play him there he acts as a false nine um second strike out top like what Firmino does for clap in liverpool or what messi did um for pep back in the day at Barcelona so like that's basically what happens if you made it this far the comment keyword today is squad so if you made it this far comment squad so I know that you reached this far thank you for watching this video I hope that this video was very helpful for you guys on how to use Diego Maradona don't forget to smash that like button smash that subscribe button road to 10,000 subscribers now so just help me out let's go I'm out